Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And yes, we are back with a Steve Bruce press conference reaction for the Tottenham game. Now, I haven't done Wardy's quite well, but I thought today is a lot to talk about, so I guess I thought I'd do a reaction video to the press conference. But again, guys, if you're new to channel, make sure you get down there and subscribe. Smash the like button if you enjoy. Appreciate your support as always. And uh, I know people will be sick of death of here on this. I, I don't blame you if you are, but listen, it needs to be talked about because it it's still going and it's still an absolute joke. Um, Again, early in the week, you know, the guy I banned off my channel, well, publicly banned him, by the way. Obviously, you haven't already seen that, but... Now, there's a reason why I have done that, because he's a vile person, and I'm, there's at the point now where his fan base are attacking our people because they disagree with you. Now, that's fine if someone disagrees with you. It, it's not bullying, it's not trolling, it's not abusing you. If someone goes against you because of their beliefs and their opinions, that's absolutely fine. And the fact you're using that as a weapon against them is disgusting, it's as simple as that. His fan base is toxic. Um, I, it's not. I'm sure it's not everyone, but there is a, a big minority of them that are sort of bashing up people, threatening them. Uh, listen, all the YouTubers that I went against them are threatened. I've been threatened at some point. Even me. Even I've had someone. Uh, yes, of course, I laughed them off, but like some of them are like I've seen are really, really bad. Like one of them went to the police about it. Like that's how bad we're getting that now. But there's a reason why every single Newcastle content creator is now against this guy. Uh, it's as simple as this. Uh, the guy is an absolute liar. Um, it, there's no way to put it. There's is, is a reason why I banned him on the channel. The guy is a joke. He, he really is. And I'm not here to bash on him. I'm here to say how it is. Because I'm seeing a lot of people that are just getting abused of his fan base. And it's just not right. This guy is literally full on lied to the camera last night. And it's not acceptable at all. But yeah, I thought I'd get out of the way. I respect every channel out there. Um, I know he's took digs at the tune with you. Gotta get shots. Respect the both of them. I always took digs at all the lasses that I left his show. Again, respect to all of them. Uh, I say this again. I respect every single content creator. And I respect anyone that stood in front of a camera and tried to do something on YouTube. I, I can't fault it. And I will respect anyone that does it. But that man is a joke. And that's how it is. And that's why I've got to give a long intro there. But... Let's know when you talk about one clown called Steve. Oh no, one pops up. And uh, yep, Steve Boost is the one we're going to talk about today. And uh, oh god, uh, why don't we begin with this guy? Um, the best way to describe Steve Boost is like a, it's like a sort of like an old dog, you know, like a family dog, about 12 years old. He's at that time now where you don't want to do it, but you kind of got to put him down. And Mike actually doesn't want to do it. He's looking at him, he's like, oh, Steve, I'll give you an odd chance, mate, you can have it at the end of the season. Just try your best, mate. I know you can do it. And he's at that point now, he just doesn't want to do it. Because let's face it, right, if we sack Steve Bruce right now, whoever comes in is going to be fucked because we've got eight games left to go after the Tottenham match. He's going to have no time to prepare this team. The team doesn't even want to fucking play for Steve Bruce. God knows how they're going to play when someone else comes in. I mean, whoever comes in now is going to be screwed. So he's at that point now where he's like, oh, I might as well keep one. And if we go relegated at the end of the season, then I'll sack him. And uh, I, I kind of had to agree with that, to be fair. I would have sacked them way, way longer ago, but my Ashley hasn't done that. And sacking them now would stitch the team up and stitch whoever else comes in. Now, that's just how I see it, really. Um, he's an absolute shit manager. Uh, I, I'm sorry, um, you know. He'd probably be lovely to meet in the pub in terms of an actual foot manager. He's not good enough. He's never has been good enough. He had a very fluky first season, and now it's been exposed for what it is. And in the press conference, he's saying, oh, you know what? I, I never quit. I never back down. I'm going to go all the way. And, um, listen, he's only saying that because if he gets sacked, he gets paid about £4 million in, uh, in money from Mike Ashley. I mean, yeah, uh, I'll be honest, if I was a manager in Castle, yeah, I could kind of see why he wants to get the sack. You know, he has a shit ton of money to go off on. But still, though, um, he sh probably should be respectful and leave the club. But, yeah, I, I obviously kind of see the money side of it. But yeah, he's not good enough here. It's as simple as that. He's not a good manager. And he needs to go, it's as simple as that. Um, I, I think it's far too late to do it now, but he definitely needs to go. And uh, in terms of our news, well, he said Sir Maxman could be back for Sunday. That's a huge one if he's back, but I will personally not risk him in this game. I think we're fucked against Tottenham regardless, so we might as well scrap this one and have him for the Bernie match, because we told Bernie a new one last time with Sir Maxman playing, and uh, if he's back, it's going to be a massive game changer. And uh, that's what I'll personally do in that case. In terms of our players... Um, I mean, against Tottenham, you've got to go for it. You know, you can't sit back against a team like Tottenham. They've got world-class players. Like, these players on their day will destroy any team. And we've got to be ready to go at them straight away. Because if we don't, we'll get hammered. And it's as simple as that. A player like Harry Kane, you know, he'd be aggressive. He'd be getting in between the two centre-hearts every time. He'd win every single ball he is and then, yeah. And then, um, you give him any form of space, he'll make a pass. He'll, he'll take a shot off and it's going to be a goal. Like, he is a quality player. And he's the reason why he's going to... Probably break that man's shoe as record up there because he's a top, top level striker. And uh, especially we've got players like Son, Bill, Lucas alongside. I mean, these are players that have pace, they can get forward the ball, they can drive with the ball, and they can create chances. That's what Tottenham need. And uh, 
yeah, Newcastle, considering how we play against Brighton, if we do against that against Tottenham, we'll get absolutely fucking rinsed. And it's as simple as that. Um, I, I can't see us getting anything out of that game. But any point is huge, though. Uh, the Burnley match next week is the one we've got to win. We don't win that game, then, yeah, that's when we've got to wave the white flag out and say, listen, we'll, play, we'll try again next season. Because it's not been good enough. It's been absolutely shocking. It really has. And, uh... Oh, God. I'm going to hit up But, um... It's not been good enough, guys. It's been absolutely piss poor. And whatever happens to Steve Bruce deserves to happen to him. He gets sacked and 100% deserves it. But, yeah... Hey you guys, you're watching. Apologies for the intro again, but it's still going and it's still pretty bad. So, yeah, I've got to obviously see how I saying it because, you know, I'm someone that's obviously uh, talked about this quite a few times before. But it's not right. Uh, it's not right. And that's why I came out and said it. But, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy watching. And, uh, yes, I will see you in the next one.